So in this video, what I'm going to be showing you is features in Python that you may not know uh, existed. So the first one is uh, when you're importing a module, uh, normally you have to, well, for example, if I was importing the date time module and I wanted to use something from it, for example, I wanted to print uh, the date, I would say date print date uh, time dot um, date dot today. Obviously this won't work because I haven't imported it yet, but that's how I would have to do it if I imported it uh, using the import date time uh, keyword. But you, what you can do is you can say from date time import date to import a specific module. And I've just imported that specific part of or that specific function out of the date time um, module. And what I can do now is I can say print date dot time or date dot today. And as you can see, it prints out today's date. Um, without me needing to uh, add the date time dot date dot today or date time to the beginning of it. The next feature you might not know is when you're assigning variables. Normally you would assign a variable like this a equals 10, b equals 20, c equals 30. Whoops, 30. And that's the way you can do it normally. What you can also do is you could say uh, a comma b comma c equals and you can just um, give it three values. So if I wanted to say uh, 40, 50, and 60, I hit enter, and now if I print any one of those values, for, for example, if I print A, it says A is 40. If I print B, whoops. If I print B, it's 50, and if I print C, it's gonna be 60. Another feature you might not have known that you've already seen me use is whenever you uh, do a command. So say I say print hello world and as you can see it printed it out. What I can do now is I can press the up arrow and as you can see this uh, cursor, uh, well it's, it moves around if I press up and down. But what you might not know is if I hit enter whenever I have it over a command, it will paste that command into the uh, sort of active area that I can type in and if I hit enter again it runs the command like normal. Another feature you may not know exists is the ability to take a chunk of a list and assign that to a variable. So for example I could say uh, list equals, actually yeah, that's a keyword so I'll just say l equals uh, python c c++ and Java. Now if I just print L, uh, you'll get what we expect, we'll get a list printed out. But what I can do now is I can say, um, I'll say piece, actually I'll call it uh, just chunk, equals um, L. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it the two indexes. The index I want it to start on and the index I want it to end on. So if I give it index uh, 1 comma 2. What it's going to do is it's going to take C and C++ and then it's going to assign that to chunk. So I hit enter and I print chunk. Oh well, whoops, I actually have to uh, go to 3 because what I want to do is I want to get everything in between. So I want to get C C++ and, or, and I want to exclude Java but I have to put in uh, an extra one because um, for some reason actually uh, this should work but it doesn't I mean it's not that it should work in Python but um, if you think about it uh, this is the zeroth element this is the first element this is the second and this is the third um, or oh, this is the fourth actually well the fourth item in the list but the third element in the uh, list if you cut from zero and what I did was 1 to 2, so this is the first and this is the second. So you would assume since it counted the first element, they would also count the second, but it obviously doesn't, so you have to add on an additional one. And now if I print a chunk, as you can see, it gives me those two items. So another feature in Python that you may not have known about is the ability to start a HTTP server from anywhere on your computer. 
So what I've done here is I've just created a folder on my desktop, called it hello, and inside it I made a file called index.html. And if I just uh, show you that, that's what the that's all the text in the file. It just says hello from Python. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start the HTTP server uh, on port 5000, and I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, our our the HTTP the HTTP server just started. So since this uh, server started, let's go to the browser and let's uh, look at that file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to localhost uh, port 5000. And as you can see, it says hello from Python. It shows me that file. And I can prove that's the file by, well, I can you can see in the terminal that uh, this is the request to the HTTP server. So what I'll do is I'll stop that for now. Then what I'll do is, uh, actually before I restart that, I'm going to go edit this file and I'll just put bold tags around it. So I can, I'll can i just output that again. You can see this is the new file and I start the server again and refresh. As you can see now the text is bold. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe and I'll see you next time.